Hey guys, welcome to Lingua Marina. Today we have a very important class for you. Venia is joining me on this one because we're going to talk about 100 most used words in English. Well, thanks for having me. And uh, this is very important. And the words that we are going to give you in this video, all of them were taken from a, a research study that was conducted where they analyzed 120,000 different texts in English from different eras not too old, the recent eras. And uh, we're gonna give you the words with the most popular meaning, just one, and give you some examples. Typically, if you look at, you know, all the lists with the most common words in English and stuff like that, typically there's gonna be a lot of uh, fillers there. What I mean by that is articles and prepositions and stuff like that. So in this video, we're actually giving you nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs. So make sure you have your exercise book ready to write things down. And also remember that in English, a lot of words have a lot of different meanings. Like for example, the verb to do has around 20 different meanings, but we're going to focus on the most common meaning in this video. Let's do it. Take notes. To ask. Can I ask you how to get to the subway? Just ask me what you want to ask me, Mr. Ken. Number two, to be. For example, Marina is a mom. You are who you are. To become. I want to become a singer. I might become popular. I, I might fit in with the popular kids. The next one is to believe. Why should I believe you? People believe what they want to believe. And here's the thing, guys, if you really watch this video and if you stick around until the end, you'll be able to understand a lot of English because a hundred words, that's a lot of words. To call. I call my mother every day. Oh my God, somebody call 911! The next one is to come. I can't believe she really came here. My parents are coming to the party. <gasps> to do. She is doing her homework. Well, what do you want me to do? To feel. I'm feeling better. I'd feel more than disappointed. I'd feel betrayed. To find. I can't find my purse. Go find Catherine Goble. The next one is to get. Do you remember where you got your purse from? You get the Beyonce tickets. To give. Give me your car keys, please. And he gave us some advice. To go. Where did you go? I don't want to go on the roller coaster. To happen. A crazy thing happened to me yesterday. What happens when you dream? To have. I have two dogs. Having fun? To hear. Do you hear me? Yes. I heard about what happened to Hanson. The next one is to keep. Marina, why are you keeping ice cream in the fridge and not the freezer? What? <laughs> Where do you keep the first aid kit? To know. Do you know what the capital of Great Britain is? He knew your father too, actually. To leave. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Your bus leaves tomorrow. Here are your tickets. To let. I don't let my kids play outside when it's dark. Let me see your phone. To make. Can you make dinner? People make mistakes. To put. Can you put it back, please? My car keys, where'd you put them? The next word is say. For example, I have something exciting to say. And what we have to say to you right now is, we are launching another round of our online course slash challenge from intermediate to advanced. If you feel like you're really stuck at that nasty, annoying, but also very good intermediate level, we can help you. And we're starting very soon, as I said, as I said before. And because you're watching this video, you're getting a special price. Use the promo code in the description down below when you check out to get a special discount. And if you really want to learn more about this experience as a whole, definitely follow the link in the description and uh, all the information is there. I hope to see you there soon. To see. Did you see that? I saw him. You saw who, baby? To seem. He seems happy. But she seems like she likes it. Should. Should I go home now? You should change, and I should get To tell. Can I tell you something? You need to tell me you're actually sorry to see me go. To think. I think about you all the time. You thought you deserved it. Can. 
I can do it. To help. English helps me reach my goals. She has broadened my mind. She has helped me grow. To like. He really likes pizza. Okay, what do you like? To look. I'm looking at you. <laughs> look at you. May. You may go now. May I join you? To meet. What does this word mean? This divorce means money. Money means independence. Need. I really need a break. The party needs me. The country needs me. To play. My kids love to play all day. You really want to play this game? Run. I want to run away. I have to go run 10 miles. To show. Can you show me your ID, please? Show me what you got, Chicago. To start. I want to start learning English. Never too late to start. To take. I'm gonna take what's mine. Take it. Take You earned it. Take it. To talk. Please talk to me. I don't want to talk about it. To try. Keep trying and you're gonna make it. Have you tried calling him back? To use. I really want to use this opportunity to learn English. Walter, you've had seven years of college. Use your brain. Will is a model verb that we use when we talk about the future. So, I will reach my goals. I will learn English. Um, I will stay until four. To turn. Please turn right at the next light. Turn, Jeff, turn. To work. I work at Lingua Trip. You worked there for five years. And now we're moving on to nouns. Case. Call me in case of emergency. In case? Case of what? A child. I had my first child at the age of 29. You're my child and nobody hurts my child. Country. What country are you from? Your country thanks you. Day. Morning is my favorite time of day. She wore it on her wedding day. Family. Marina has a big family. Family is very important. Group. What a nice group of people watching this video. Special operations group is ready. A guy. He's a really nice guy. Hey, what happened to that guy? What guy? A house. We're renting this house. He's trying to control our house. A job. I need a new job. I get my dream job and you get your dream guy. Life. What a wonderful life in California. I like to keep my private life private, ma'am. Man, woman. As a man, I like to speak to women respectfully. Any man and woman can get married, Charlotte. Night. I didn't sleep well last night. And by last night, I mean the night that just happened, that just ended this morning. Something to remember. The review is bad, then opening night is closing night. Part. I need to find used car parts for my car. Spying on 30 million people isn't part of my job description. People. Who are these people? All I'm trying to do is be nice to the people who are volunteering to help find Amy. President. I wonder who the next president of the U.S. is going to be. And my decision is, I will not run for president. Problem. We have a problem with this camera. We're running out of battery. And now we're going to fix it. <sighs> Your social media is a problem for us. Question. Can I ask you a question? Questions bring more questions. School. I go to school every day. I just wanted to come up with the most basic example ever. And in English, when we say school, we typically mean all types of school. Elementary, middle, high school, college, university, grad school, all of that is school. She teaches at the village school. Very interested in school. Something. Can I ask you something? May I show you something specific? Student. You guys are really great students. 
because you're watching this video and learning English with us. His son, Jason, was once a student of yours, wasn't he? Thing. What do you call this thing? Next best thing. Time. You're learning 100 most used words in English in a very short period of time. It was off season and by that time decidedly out of fashion and it had already begun its descent into shabbiness and eventual demolition. Way. This is the only way to do it. That's the only way to rule. Week. You can learn so much in a week, especially if you watch this channel. A few weeks should have passed by the time you read this. Year. Do you have any plans for the next year? I get Christmas cards from people I don't see from one end of the year to the other end and do not wish to. Back. My back really hurts because I'm old. <laughs> oh, I'll sit in the back of the bus. Book. Personally, I don't like reading books. She's reading a book like this. Hand. Emily always holds Lily's hand when they walk. Take my hand. Put your other hand on my shoulder. Place. Los Angeles is a beautiful place for me to live. Oh, well, maybe that's the best place to start. Point. At this point of my life, I feel really happy. Is this the lowest point of my life? State. For example, my friend Dima doesn't like to iron his clothes. So if you look in his closet, his clothes are in a terrible state. They're not folded, they're not ironed, they're not clean. I'm just kidding, this is a joke. State. People are like, Marina has to do it then. <laughs> oh, it's 2022, get over it. Hey, get over it. He has to do it himself. I'm trying to determine her state of mind so that I can chart the best course of treatment. World. LinguaTrip has students from all over the world. I've never really seen myself in the business world. And now we're transitioning to adjectives. All. I haven't eaten all day. I was there all night. All night long. Bad. Canola oil is really bad for you. We were making this video about food in the US yesterday. So this example came to my mind. You know, he has quite the bad boy reputation himself. Big. We're working on a very big project. Rehearsals, big day tomorrow. Different. It's okay to be different. So we were just talking about different opportunities. Every. I make videos every day. Every step of the way I had to fight. First, the first city I visited in the US was Miami. May I be the first to offer my congratulations? Good. This is a good idea. You're very funny. In a good way. Great. California is a great place to live. We had a great theater company and a great life where we were. Hi. Dima smoked some weed and got really high. <laughs> Which is not true, by the way. No, not true, not true at all. He doesn't smoke yeah, at that, all. Yeah, that wasn't today, it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this shelf is way too high. A high level position has just been vacated. Last, when was the last time you smashed the like button below my videos? Mm? No, no, she's probably, you know, just having a nice last day with the girls. Little, look at this little baby. Little baby spoons. Many. I have many followers from Brazil. Comment down below if you're from Brazil. How many people know? New. I really like this new couch. Everybody likes new inventions, new technology. Actually, this couch is old. Our friends gave it to us because they moved out of San Francisco. But it's new for us. Old is another word. That old song? Other. Can we do it some other time? Other tasks, other opportunities? Same. Do you want to go to the same place we went to yesterday? For dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that Georgian place in Los Altos. Oh my God. But Alan says none of us are the same as we were a moment ago and we shouldn't try to be. Small. I'm wearing a very small microphone. I think you'll find that Boston's still a small town too, Marty, in any ways. And now we're going to talk about adjectives that can also be other parts of speech. And the first example is just. Do you think Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp court decision is just? I think my opinion doesn't matter whether it was just or unjust. Therefore, if any man can show any just cause, 
why they may not be lawfully joined together. Live. This is an adjective, and uh, you can use it like this. Welcome to our live show. Let's put them on TV, broadcast them live. Only. This is our next word, and oh. Lily's joining us for this one. Oh. Lily is not the only child in this family. We have another one. Her name is Emily. And this is Lily. Lily, say hello. He's the only person with that many chairs. Own. Because Lily is a child, she doesn't have her own money. You're trying to justify your own weakness. Still, Lily is so still right now. Normally, she would just scroll and run around. Oh, yeah, this is what she's, she's about to do. <laughs> She's like, what are you guys doing here? Because she can't sit still, you know. Okay, guys, that was it from us for today. Yay! The class is over. Now you guys know 100 most used words in English. And make sure you really, really practice. It's very, very important because knowing them is one thing but actually being able to use them is something completely different. So if you don't use some of them or any of them or many of them, make sure you really, really get active with how you approach learning these words. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to Vanya's channel and see you very soon in our next videos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.